Here we have the contents of this bag. It's all fluffed up. And below it is the waist. There was approximately 6.8 ounces. All right there. It's probably all a quarter of an ounce waist. And so, got the gray finished. And I'm finishing up the orange. And tomorrow starts the spin together. And that's when I'll start spinning the warp. Hello, hello. Okay, so here I am. This is the first day of spin together. And it's also where I'm gonna start spinning up for the spin the weaving on. And on the ladybug here, I have a leader that is approximately the same thickness of the yarn I plan to spin for the single. So I have this finished control card and kind of laid down, get a good idea of how thick my single needs to be. And that's when I'm going to start. It just helps out to have that leader on there. That's about where I want to be. Now, of course, it's spinning with thin, which is a long wool, and it makes it a lot easier to uh, tie on because it's already long and all I need to do is just really just tie it on. This poor leader probably should have, um, there we go, probably should have made it much longer, but I slowly cut them off until this guy's been on for a while. And I'm just making my adjustments. All nice and good. Have to make the adjustment for the tension too much for every uh, different fiber that and length that I've got going on here. Okay, so now it's all set and ready. Just got to get that to catch. This is a list of things you should do ahead of time, but I didn't. It's been a while since I've spun with this wheel. Been using the Louette. And uh, this will pretty much be uh, your normal spinning. Um, I'm using, uh, of course, the fiber is all um, flick, so it's sort of parted. Well, not sorry. Sort of worsted. It. It's not combed to be completely, completely worsted, but it's only flipped from the ends like I showed in the last video. And I'm spinning from end to end. And I'm using a short forward bra. Keeping the fiber pinched. Normally I'm not this close to the orifice, but I'm limiting the view of the room. So I'm a lot closer to the orifice than I normally do. Trying to give you the idea of how I'm just spinning from the tip. Now the fire. And, I, you know, sometimes I'm actually doing a short backwards flow uh, when it comes to long fibers because they are so long. So it's not so much that the hand that's going to pinch and screw in the fiber for is the hand that's holding the fiber when you're drafting it pulling it back. So here I am. Tip. To tip. Putting it on the tip. And drafting it down. That's it. Keeping that fiber nice and straight, smoothing it as I go along. Keeping all of the twist out of the dressing zone. And then I normally stop to make two adjustments. Uh, the first one is to check the control card. It's a little thing. I want to add a little bit more to it. 
and also want to move. Okay, so could get a little longer. I mean, ideally, they're expensive. That's more than I have floating around, so no woolly blinder in the foreseeable future. Or, um, well, the thing about it is, it's okay to stop the marker. And for the first couple yards, I'm moving it to make it even. But by the time I filled up the first row, I'm not really moving it that often, I'm kind of laying it in thick chunks and then moving it along. And so it's only really tedious uh, as I'm the first pass across the bottom. I mean, also, too, it's good. It makes me move. I wouldn't move as much if I didn't have to stop and change the bits. It kind of makes me more aware. And I have to stop and grab chunk food. So, I mean, that's that would be about where I would change you know, the hook over anyway. fiber for the spin together. This is also the fiber for the spin to weave along. And this is the fiber for the fiber dying study challenge. And I'm going to add in some uh, dark picture red. looks and then get it on the loom for a scarf. And this batch didn't dye as dark as I would have liked it to. Um, but it's it's thin and it still has that really nice quality about it. I have to find a screwdriver and then tighten it again. I mean, there's so much spinning going on. Just the basic thing that shifts this poor guy's So you have to do the maintenance and tighten it. Basically, that is how the rest of the spin is going to go. I'm not going to bore you with half an hour worth of spinning. And also, um, I want to kind of, you know, vlog my way through this for the next couple days. So I kind of have to keep these sh short so that they can be uploaded basically the same day. Because it, it takes a while to edit and upload what I'm doing on the phone or Windows Media Player. Yes, I'm still running Windows Media Player. And so it takes a little while to 
put those together, let the machine process them, and then send them up to upload for YouTube. So the longer I make this video, the less likely I'm going to get it out uh, on today. And I really like to do that. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you're participating in Spin Together, uh, please let me know in the comments. I'm on Team Lake Erie Spinners.